Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now before the video begins, I just thought I'd do a big announcement for something that I'm going to be doing on Friday. I think it's the 9th of August on my stream, twitch.tv slash huzzygames. At roughly 1pm uh, UK time is when I normally start my stream. And that's going to be the same for that Friday. The difference is we're going to be doing a subathon. So we've done one before a few months ago and we said nine hours is the maximum we'll go and we made it to the nine hours. This time the maximum that we'll be having is 24 hours. So a subathon style is again a lot a lot of you are probably are presuming you know them but basically we are starting with three hours locked in to the stream. That's going to be minimum how long the stream goes. It's roughly how long I usually stream for anyway. But every Twitch subscriber, every bit, every donation, basically anything, gifted subs, whatever, adds to the time. Um, and with a maximum of 24. So I'm not sure if we'll make it to the 24. Again, that would be kind of crazy if we do. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but the one big thing that I want to make sure uh, and aware that from about 10 p.m., 10.30 p.m. UK time to about 9 a.m. The, the following morning... I won't be talking. Uh, again, I live at home with family and we live in a modern house that is very bad with sound. Um, so I won't be able to talk at that time because family will be asleep. So that that kind of 11 roughly hours will be pure try-hard solo queue on the main account. Hell, maybe we'll get master in them 11 hours. Um, and then we'll be obviously be talking from 1 p.m., till 10 p.m. so that's a long time and then from about 9 a.m. if we make it to the whole 24 hours from the 9 a.m. till the 1 p.m. Um, the next day the Saturday uh, we'll be talking again obviously the last I don't know five or six hours we might not be on the main account because that will be a long time playing and I'll probably be quite tired so we might go on the leveling smurf or play TFT and again, that is only if we make it to the whole 24 hours. We might only make it 10 hours. We might make it only six. I don't know. Um, so it's going to be on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash huzzygames this Friday. Normal stream start time, 1 p.m. And yeah, subathon style. Um, so we'll probably make quite a lot of content coming out of this, this big stream. Um, so again, if after the subathon there's videos that have a timer on it counting down, it'll obviously be from the subathon. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys will choose tune in and this is the biggest ever stream that I'm going to be personally doing so it'd be really cool if you guys could you know support it even if you're not there to subscribe or anything just to tune in and watch is awesome too um but yeah it should be fun so uh twitch.tv slash huzzy games friday 1 p.m uk time so because we might may be going for 24 hours no matter what time zone you are you should be able to catch me at some point but again remember I will not be talking from 10 roughly p.m. till 9 a.m. the next morning that I'll be playing music full try hard in solo queue on the main account uh, but yeah that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys in the next video please like this video It'll do me a massive favor and uh, hopefully I'll see you there goodbye Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video welcome back to back to master so we just got back to diamond one um, so hopefully we'll you know continue the rise of rating all the way to D1. And again, if I wanted to get there, by the way, I'd probably just play a lot of Diana right now. Uh, but we got a jungle, which is our second roll now. Um, and if we're bringing up here, uh, very quickly. So it's a Diamond 1, Diamond 2 type game. We're against a duo Q, these two. And it's a Twitch, godlike Twitch. He's ranked 65 on Twitch, so that's scary. Um, hopefully we'll be okay. We've got a Kale. We've got a one-trick Vlad. They've got a one-trick Katarina. Low damage Renekton. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. It seems our bot lane's also pretty good. But yeah, a bunch of good players in this game, uh, as you'd probably expect in this rating. But yeah, so I guess, I don't know, if if Twitch doesn't snowball, I think we might be okay. The problem is, I explained to Twitch chat, um, this is one of the worst matchups for Elise. Because it's incredibly one-sided in the early game. Twitch can abuse an Elise. And if I don't hit my cocoon on him later, I'm dead. Uh, that is legit just how it works. So yeah, it's a bit like, oh god, a ticking time bomb. But yeah, so this Twitch has got a 65% overall win rate, 165 games. Again, is mainly a Twitch player and obviously he's playing Twitch predominantly. At least invade their blue. Mm, no. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to invade on a Twitch. <laughs> what? That's suicide. Suicide? 
call back to Samuel Jackson in that basketball movie. What was that movie called? Coach Carter. That's a great movie. Fantastic. But yeah, so, so far, by the way, of playing yesterday, yesterday's stream and the night portion, because I did a midnight stream that you would have watched the last two games of Diamond 1 promo, I had mid lane every single game. To, this is legit my first jungle game that I'm doing. I'm actually not going to do that because I'm scared of Twitch a little bit. I'm going to just do wolves because it's safer. Wolves into blue. Because I don't want to risk just getting like owned by Twitch straight away. Then I'm really far behind. Twitch isn't going to be here. There's no way. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully we can have a good game. So I have played Elise recently. I did some flex games with friends. Obviously that isn't the hardest rating. I think it's like platinum or something. Gold. Um... Just to get a little bit of practice, and I think I got very fed in that game. But again, it's lower rating, so, you know. Okay, I'm not level 3. Still gotta, like, learn a lot about the, the jungle again. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna find a video. Again, I don't watch Educational League content, um, so I don't really know. Is there a video out there that'd be like, you know, jun jungle path? That's terrible by Vlad. Is there a jungle, like, a video out there that's like, jungle path? of this season because that would be quite helpful nice <sighs> And I can get the crab, because Twitch is over that way. Why is the Vladimir, like, so angry that he just got outplayed, by the way? <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, I might have to do a bit of research about my clearing. I don't know. Okay, let's just mute him, because his mind is going boom. Do, do, do. No, please don't die. Come. Oh, live! Thank God. Oof. It'd be really sad if we got, like, first... Well, not first blood, but we got a kill aided for her, and then she just, like, throws it away in a solo kill. I'd be very sad. That would be a feels-bad man. <laughs> Vlad one-trick, by the way. Yeah, but it's a one-trick versus a one-trick. Katarina one-trick versus a Vlad one-trick. So the better one-trick will win. I even think the matchup is Vladimir... Favored, isn't it? Pretty sure. Because, like, Vladimir's sustain is just insane for a Katarina to deal with. As long as you're using your passive cues on the Katarina. But, yeah. Okay, I'm going to push this and then look bot lane. Because, again, that really is the lane... Uh -oh. That is the lane that I should be helping. God, they played that quite poorly. Wow, they are ignoring the Zaya, though. Kind of expecting Twitch to be bot lane. If I'm honest. It would, to me, how would Twitch, like, not... How would he not go for things this health? Like, they're so low health right now. Do you think this is warded? Come on. Okay. Oh, I really want to dive that. Do you think he's got heal? Come on! Yeah, let's go. Where's Twitch? I honestly have no idea. Okay, cool. Oh, there he is. Okay. Mm, Kale's actually doing well with farm. She just needs to be careful of ganks. To be honest, would I expect him to be top lane? Not really. To be honest, a Renekton should be beating a Kale anyway, so why would you put time into that lane? Oh! Okay, that's not terrible. Vladimir should have flashed quicker, though. 
If he flashed quicker, they would have just died and he would have lived. I do want to try and get that Inferno. My jungle playstyle, by the way, I'm playing to meta. I'm going to be mainly playing for bot side and then also trying to get um, dragons and stuff. That's what I like to try and do anyway. Okay, that's watered. <coughs> D1, plat 1 last season. It's pretty good. So they're really going hard for the Kale, which is, again, really confusing, man. That is, to me, is not the right lane to go for. How is that not up? Oh. Well, they look in mid lane. Shouldn't... I don't know. Like Again, I want to commit for bot lane right now, but I don't know if it's the right idea because I'm going to be wasting a lot of time. The reason I want to commit for bot lane, one, it's meta to do it. Secondly, Infernal Dragon. If we get keep getting bot lane really strong, we're basically guaranteeing us the dragon. Yeah, Kale's dead. She just hasn't... Okay, she's not dead. Good, good, good. She just doesn't... If she doesn't feed, then I think we're going to win this game pretty easily. Because, like, Kale without... Okay, Twitch is top lane again. Oh, this Kale is really heavy. Feels bad. She just has to play passive, and it doesn't look like she's playing passive when she's fighting him here. You know. <laughs> uh, I'm half expecting Twitch to be here, maybe. Wow, they're just diving. I'm happy with that. This is risky, I think, a little bit. Hopefully I'm okay. I don't really want to have fights because, again, whenever you're a jungler and you go top lane or something, you're also kind of, in a way, inviting the enemy jungler to come and gank too. Enemy oh, no. They overstayed. They're doing it. This is what I was scared of. <clears throat> I really don't want them to get this. Yeah. I'll take the shutdown, I guess. Uh, Renekton teleported too. Okay. I would have liked that dragon. Did have a lot of gold on me though, and I got a shutdown, so it's not terrible. Just our bot lane overstayed, and that cost us the dragon. Wait, what's going on now? Are they. That should be a dead Renekton. Q and an E? No, she didn't get the root. This Vladimir isn't very good. Yeah, so Twitch went top lane early to get fed, and now he's kind of snowballing a bit. Again, we're having an okay game on a lease, so, you know, it's not like we're not doing anything. We're doing fine. Uh oh. I don't want to take that. Could have easily, but, you know. I think she would be angry if I took it. And she does seem maybe like a little bit of a rager. Hmm. 
Because I kind of feel like Twitch... Okay, let's just mute the Zaya. She's got a like a stick up her butt or something. Holy moly. None of the shuts up. So there's a massive difference in mid lane right now. Again, I want to still hover bot lane. I'm going to do red and then go bot. Oh, we're just going to go bot lane now. Oh my god. The mid lane difference is way too big this game. Jesus. Why is Lee Sin so good at stealing objectives? Because there's Q's in Execute and you can time it with your uh, smite. Jesus. Hopefully we'll be okay in late game. Because we have a lot of damage for late game, I guess. And they're quite squishy. So hopefully that'll be fine, but he just needs to do something, anything positive. Yeah, I flashed to try and get the cocoon, but it just wasn't quick enough. She just one-shot stuff, which to be honest, I didn't really expect her to one-shot stuff. Oh damn, Thresh is top. Kale's dead again. Uh. Mean. They shouldn't overstay in bot side. Because they'll just go from top as like all the people to bot lane. It's really obvious, but these people don't think, I guess. But don't worry, the Zaya's a semi-pro, everybody. Man. Just can't do anything versus the cat now. Wonder if that's Twitch or Renek nearby. <coughs> Don't know actually, because Renekton was there. It might be Renekton. I guess we just try and hold out for, like, late game as much as we can. Like, when she gets level 11, oh, yeah, they're just abusing us so easily. And I can't even help that lane, because even if, like, you know, I got her early, like, we got the first blood, or not first blood, but we got a kill there. Again, in the grand scheme, it doesn't do anything. Le legit, it doesn't matter getting kill ahead unless she's level 11. So it's pointless even ganking that lane. Uh, unfortunately. This Kale just hasn't respected getting ganked the whole game. Just the solo lanes have let us down. Which is okay. Hopefully we can win. We shall see. I'm actually going to go back. I need to make sure I've got like as much strength as i got like at the moment. Because the enemy team's really far ahead. So if I can be stronger and have the, the most I can buy at any one time, at least I'm at the maximum strength I've got. You know, it's, no, it's not worth carrying 1,200 gold around. Vladimir should be going top lane. does seem a little bit clueless. Oh. Come on! Okay, that's worth... Wait, did she not have a shutdown? Oh, Twitch was on the dragon. Vlad? Holy moly, this Vladimir. Holy moly. He's a one-trick. 
Oh, he's not good. What the hell is wrong with people, dude? There are some very interesting characters on EUS. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Again, I don't like this server. But it's the one I gotta play on. Sadly. Yeah, this is Vladimir. Ugh. Like, the Kale, I don't know, you can kind of understand a little bit. Early game champion Twitch has gone top lane, which is rare in the current meta. There is no excuse for this Vladimir. He's a one trick. He lost to another one trick in a 1v1. There's a zero roam pressure at all. Makes mistakes, combo basic mistakes in that fight. Like, there is no excuse for that at all. That's just bad. Again, sometimes you can't sugarcoat things, and that is definitely one of the situations that's like, nah, that guy is just pretty poop. Oh, there was someone in that bush. The, like, Luden's proc showed me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm hoping Jin might come here. Don't know if I've got the damage to one-shot the Twitch at the moment. Sweet. Oh, I got so slow. It's worth killing the Twitch, though. Just couldn't get out in time because of the Thresh slow. Was it the Thresh or was it like a trap? I don't know. But I was very slow. But yeah, I was waiting. You can see I was waiting a long time to get my cocoon off because I felt like I needed to get it off the Twitch. Was it Gin Trap? Okay. Renekton might be in there. Ooh. Oh no. This might not be bad. Okay, never mind. Katarina legitimately just one-shot people. Mm. 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 Never mind. <sighs> Is he inting? What, the Vlad? I don't know. Not really sure. Don't know if this is going to be safe to go in here. I don't know. I think I've, I've had an okay game. There's very little I've been able to do because of the solo laners. And it's like, again, could I help them, I guess, is the always thing, like, should I ganked? Like I mentioned, there's no point ganking top lane, because if you get Kale a little bit ahead, well, there's, there's no point. She's never going to win the 1v1 in the early game, so you're kind of just wasting your time ganking that. And then Vladimir, again, Vladimir should have been doing fine by himself. Like, 100% should have been doing fine. Uh, and, you know, it's even hard to kind of... Oh, this Rakan. Again, he's 1 and 8 himself. Um... In a way, like, there's not really much point ganking even for a Vlad, because Katarina can just dodge pretty easily. Like, oh, I go for a gank, and she just shampoos away or whatever. I love my damage. Oh, God. Oof. Mid lane difference this game is huge. Oh. I got one kill, yeah. Oh well, just he got legendary, she fed, like got really fed, and I don't know, there's just nothing more I really could have done. I think I played okay, but yeah. 1 8, 6 death, 0 6, 2 6. So yeah, I don't know.
for my first jungle game back on the main account, I'm okay with my own performance. So yeah. With like, Kale just needed to have more vision, I guess. Like, Twitch did the same gank every time. He went through lane and then stealth onto the Kale. She never warded it. There you go. I think I'll still upload this one. Again, as I mentioned, I'm not opposed to not uploading victories. This game was interesting because, like, we had some good things going for us, but then you just saw the difference of, like, certain skills, I guess. Like, mid lane was ridiculously different. Ridiculously different in skill. Um... And then top lane, she didn't respect. Oh, I could get ganked in the early game. So, yeah. Again, it's fine. We just got promoted and whatever. We went 3 5 3, 105 farm damage. Oh, hiccups, dude. Doing, I don't know, not terrible damage more than the Vladimir. Obviously, Zyde is the most there. We're in kind of the mix, not even that far off the Twitch, to be honest. He does 300 more damage than me. But you can clearly see who basically carried the game. And then Jin basically got a free game because. The cat arena got fed but yeah that it wasn't amazing but it's it's good to highlight that even if it's a one trick versus one trick one of the one tricks is probably going to stomp the other one and even though the matchup i don't think is a stomp matchup like vladimir should definitely not get stomped enough that he's just dying all the time this one did uh but that's gonna be it if you guys did enjoy and we're back in the jungle throw a like on the video throw a comment and i'll see you guys next time see you